I do too much. Right, guys, sorry about the sound. Um, I didn't know what I was doing, as usual. Um, so, <laughs> apologies for that. So, like my dad says, this is basically a bit of a, a bit of an informal 100,000 subscriber special um, that we're going to do. I don't um, think this is the real one, though. This I is not the real one. No. Um, but, yeah, this is... That's not a real one. No. But yeah, basically, it's just basically to thank you guys and, you know, obviously we weren't prepared for this because the, the sound wasn't working and, you know, stuff like that. But we've got it sorted now, so we do appreciate you guys turning up. I think there's maybe... We do, a we do read every comment you put out there. So, if you're wondering whether we read them, we read everything. The only thing we don't manage to do is answer everything. Yeah. But, whenever we can, we do try to. So, for those people that don't know and those new people, I'm Ryan, I'm obviously the boss. This is my dad, Steve. He's I'm obviously the big boss. Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> this is my uncle Richard. Obviously, he's, you've seen him in a couple of videos. So he's basically, you know, um, off, off camera, but he's doing a lot of the fabrication. And this is my uncle John as well. Um, Monkey boy, as he likes to call Monkey himself. Boy. Um, and he basically does the same as my uncle Richard as well. Um, they're, they're, they're basically behind the scenes fabricators. Yeah. Apologies for next door. We've got a company next door that makes a lot of noise. Yeah. <laughs> Are they twins? They're, they're all brothers. All, the, all brothers. They're all, all brothers. We're all brothers. Yeah. Not twins, just brothers. Right, which so. One? Which one's a twin? Because I'm the better looking one, aren't I? I'm the only one. Yeah. So it must be you two. I'm the better looking one. I'm the only better looking one. I'm the best looking one. This is the father. This is the son. And this is the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the, and the hand that you can see, the man behind the camera, is the brother of him, yeah. and the son of him. So, oh, that sounded really confusing. So what, what Adam was trying to say is, I'm, this is my dad, I'm the brother, I, no, I'm the son. <laughs> <laughs> what was Adam trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a bit impossible, actually. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> so this is my dad, I'm the son, these are my two uncles, which are the brothers of my dad, and then behind the camera, you've got my brother, which is my dad's other son. Adam. Adam. And then we've got the dogs, aunties, nephews, uncle, next doors, um, goldfish. Yeah. Outside. Okay. Right. So, as you know, we do have a couple, well, we've got a lot of cars in the workshop. We've got, we've got cars that are not on the channel. We've got cars that are on the channel. A lot of people say, do you ever finish cars? And that's what these two guys do. Cars come in, cars go out when they're not on film because we can't film everything. Now there's normal, you know, like we've got the RS2000, we've got the uh, Porsche 911. Um, these we've ones got, are... We've got Sweet, Sweden, Stockholm. Yeah. Sweden. Yeah, Sweden. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout out as Ryan's going, so you, you, you could, you'll keep going. I am Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> Sweden even. <laughs> no, so yeah, we, we've got, we've got um, seven, eight builds on the go at the moment. So obviously we do one video a week on each build and sometimes it's bi-weekly uh, for the RS2000 uh, and the 911. And then obviously we've got the um, Mazda Cosmo and the Disaster Datsun as well. So uh, we'll do, just do a little bit of a quick run around. Australia. We've got Australia, yeah. So yeah. if you follow us over here. Hong Kong. So we've got the, nine, the Porsche 911. Um, this one is bi-weekly. So the next video on this is... Um, uh, when we've made it. <laughs> Probably not next week, the week after. Yeah. Uh, we've got all the structure in place on this car now, so what we're doing at the moment is we've got to get the outer sills on it so we can get the doors on and make sure every, everything lines up. As soon as everything lines up and we're happy with that, we're going to then cut all this bracing out of there. Yeah. Uh, and then it's back to modifying it. Yeah. Cutting those arches back off because we've got to put the arches back on first, but then we're going to cut the arches back off because we're going to put some nice big fat flared ones on. So, if you just reverse that way, you'll be able to see the recent video, which was the, actually the Mazda Cosmo. <laughs> now, we've got the Mazda Cosmo blasted. Um, some guys came in, they blasted the shell, um, and we've, we've got this all primed now, so it's all in nice primer to stop it flash rusting basically. Island. Um, <laughs> So that's the progress of this. So the next video is going to be in two weeks' time on a Saturday. And this is bi-weekly with the Disaster Datsun. So this one looks a whole lot better than what it did. And it's almost like it's, it's not as daunting as what it once was. It still looks daunting. So, yeah. yeah. Um, if you follow me this way, in the background, you'll see Auto Alex's car. So this is, this is Roger. Roger is very rusty on the underside. 
and it's not on a ramp at the moment because all the ramps. I don't, don't know if a lot of you know, but we do operate a company at the front here as well. So Richard and John, uh, they run the company at the front here, while me and Ryan do the YouTube a little bit further back. So at the moment, all the ramps are tied up, hence why we do operate on the ground as well. So there's usually me and Ryan lying around on the ground while uh, Richard and John are swanning it on the ramps. Yeah. So Roger is currently, um, we're working on the next video for Roger and I'm doing this rear arch down here. So the next video for Roger is going to be on Wednesday. So do make sure you check that out. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of rust down here in this sort of area. Um, so we're not going to go into too much detail because I've, I've had nightmares last night when I was doing this. Um, yeah, so, every night. so again, in the background, we've got the disaster Datsun Z. Now this was the second, the second car on the channel. And as you know, this is a real disaster. <laughs> this is so much that. of a disaster. Um, so we started restoring this and my dad decided to change his mind on what he wanted to do and we're going to cut most of the repairs out That's that I've already done. That's what dads are for. Yes. Unreliability. Yeah. Yes. So, Disaster Datsun, it's getting custom fabrication on the back, it's getting a flat floor pan, we're making a full rear subframe for the back as well, for all custom. For those of you who haven't had a look, this, this is what the Disaster Datsun looks like at the moment. Uh, it's, it's a little bit worse than expected, just a little bit. So this car really is a disaster. Now, it's been called a disaster because of the amount of bad repairs that have been put on this. Now, for the OGs of the channel, they'll, you'll notice that it's had probably, you know, uh, three floor pans, it's had three bulkheads, there's just been rust everywhere. And this has been a real challenge. And I'll be really glad to see this on the road. But like I say, it's going custom. We've made this by hand, a custom subframe, a custom rear flat floor pan. We're getting rid of the rear uh, spare wheel well. And obviously we're customizing it from there. So we're kind of making it up as we go along. Yeah, we're don't say that. Yeah, no, we are. <laughs> right. If you follow me this way, you will, you will get a very quick sneak peek, a, a, a sneak peek of Matt Armstrong's car, which um, the video goes live next Sunday. Don't look into much detail on that because I've not released the video yet and we're quite ahead on that. So that is going somewhere. As people will know, there's a secret location that that's going. No one has guessed where it's going yet. It's not going to a dipper's. It's not going to, it's obviously already been sandblasted. You've seen that in the Cosmo it's video. It's not going to priming because we, we do that in house. It's not going to paint, actual paint. Because we also do that in house as well. Because we've got a paint booth. So leave your comments, leave your guesses in the comments below where you think that's actually going, but no one's guessed yet. Obviously, we have done a roll cage for that. That was in the previous video and that's all sorted. People did guess that, but there's a second location. Now come this way. Ryan, someone says that they like your jumper, very nice color. That's the last one. YCR <laughs> Shop UK. So we do have these for sale on the shop. Um, it's ycr.uk.com. That's, um, that's for our shop. And that's all, yeah. Don't worry about the compressor. So this car here is Mr. Colin Furs. A lot of people, a lot of new people have subscribed because of Colin Furs, because of Auto you. Alex. We and, thank all the subscribers. And because of um, Matt Armstrong as well. So we do thank the collaborators that, we're, that we've worked with. Like I say, Colin Furs, Matt Armstrong, Auto Alex as well. And we do have a lot in the works. We do. There's absolutely tons of stuff going off for the future, so keep your eye on this channel. Yeah. Uh, the, the Colin First cars were just about to start the fabrication, so you've got your metalwork and everything to look forward to, especially grinding that rust off, which is so exciting. It is exciting. Yeah, Lovely. so the, there's a lot of rust on this. Now, a lot of people do ask us which one is worse. Is it Roger? Is it Colin Fur's car? Or is it uh, Matt Armstrong's car? And to me, this is the worst one. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, hard. it's close. It's really, really close between this Colin Fur's car 
and Matt Armstrong's Matt, car. Yeah. But Roger, um, out of Alex's car, it's not too bad, actually. Although it's last night, one. yeah, last night, I... Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's yeah. another story. So that's for a future video as yeah. well. Okay. So keep your eyes on that as well. Yeah, so, yeah, Colin Fur's car, this is on a Thursday, so we'll get a, a, a video every Thursday. Um, so next Thursday, we will start fabrication on this because my dad's obviously popped it onto the rotisserie. So we can flip this all the way around now um, and we can get to the underside and start obviously doing the rust repairs. There are a few less videos this last two weeks, but that'll be back up to scratch next week. And all that is, is because we're, we're working on future projects. So you'll get an idea of what's happening in the future. Uh, sorry, why we've not done as many videos this week in the future. We do have like something big that's going on at the moment. So, Keep yeah, your eye on that. so like mass, like huge, like, so yeah. Over there, over here is the original project that started all this. Now, a lot of you have been saying, what's happened to the LJ80? Now, all we've been doing is, for one, we've been waiting for parts. For two, we've been concentrating on the creator's cars just to try and get them out. Basically, It's fine, it's fine, there's no, no problems here. Uh, basically, we've been, we've put, because this is our car, we'll pop this on hold for a little bit while we get Matt's car out of the way. And then this should come back um, in the restorations, fingers crossed. The, uh, some people have asked us about the MX-5 as well. We, <laughs> we started. Um, again, this has to go on hold, unfortunately, because when we've got his own work on, this is my car, uh, I just play with it, I just play for styling, things like that, uh, and do a little bit of track work in it. Um, and we'll pop this on hold as well because we've got so busy at the moment, especially with creators and customers, high, well, not high pro profile projects, but um, big expensive projects, like the uh, 911, we've got a couple more 911s and everything in as well at the moment. So as you can see, there's, uh, there's a few more projects. Uh, some people have asked us uh, why the Opel Manta is still here. Um, the reason that being is we've finished everything and now the gent is happy with his work so he wants us now to go on the bottom of his car. So now we're gonna, gonna, gonna crack on the bottom of that car. Unfortunately, that's not gonna go on video because it's really, really boring. It's just grinding and chipping rust off. That's about it. But that's why that's here. So the Mini, you've seen the Mini project. Um, you'll see a video come out for that a little bit later on. Uh, this one here, basically, we, we did it quite a while ago and then we had to pop in a hold again. We needed parts, panels, things like that. So that went on the shelf uh, while we got all the parts and panels and we've done the rest of the video in for this. So you'll see that in one video, one complete video, finishing this car off. Well, thank you, Steve. That's all right. So over here, which we're not actually going to show not you. not allowed to show this side. We've got a lot of cars which are lined up which are not on the channel. Now... We can't show you at the moment because they're top secret. Now, like I say, there's loads top that goes secret. loads that goes behind the scenes. <laughs> top, secret. <laughs> top secret. Top secret. We've got a lot that goes on behind the scenes. As I say, you know, we obviously do all of our editing ourselves. Sometimes we stay up until you know stupid o'clock at night doing editing, doing footage. I've barely slept over the past two weeks because I've been doing Mr. Matt Armstrong's car. Just for the record, Matt has not asked me to do this. I've brought it upon myself, and I've set myself tight time scales to try and get this done and that car is just about done so we've got a couple more things to do then it goes away then it comes back and hasta la vista then, baby then something else is happening to it i think is it is that so yeah yeah we've got we've got plenty on yeah someone's asked a question um, have you ever said no that's too far gone have we ever said no actually, that's too far gone we have there's one actually outside it's it's a it's a mazda mx5 we popped it on the ramp we looked underneath it uh, it was very dear to the guy. That's right. It was very dear to the guy, but we, we, was, we was honest, we was blunt with him. We said, look, it's way too far gone. It basically would have taken £10,000 to put that car back on the road. And it's a, it's a £3,500 car. So um, we gave him the option. We said, we can do it if you want. Um, but he took the option to buy another shell. So that's still in the process. We're, what we've basically done, we've bought another shell for him, a good shell, and we're just going to swap everything back over for him so he's still got that nice, precious car he had. Do you have any more questions? This, is, this is the mic, by the way, so Adam's asking the questions because he's looking at the phone. Oh, yeah, just looking at me, actually. So, 
Up to this point, which car was the most trouble to work on ever? Up to this in the videos or not? Up to this point, which was the hardest the hardest car to work on? Yeah. The most troublesome car to work on. On video or not on video. On video uh, or not on video. The, the, wor the worst car I've ever worked on. Um, the I Datsun. Think, I think it's the Datsun, the yeah. Disaster, the disaster Datsun. The disaster itself, the Datsun. It's a, it, well, when I originally bought it, I bought it blind. So um, I, I weren't blind, but I bought it without looking at the car. Uh, and I took the gentleman, a very good salesman, by the way, I took the gentleman's word for it, how it was. Um, he kind of gave himself out as a little bit of a professional. Um, and when it got to us, I had a quick scout around it, and I thought, yeah, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Um, unfortunately, we all know better now. Yeah. It is bad. So I, bad. I got lumbered with that project because I, I, think, got a bit of a bad I think my dad knew something that I didn't. So I, I started on with that project and... Obviously, now it's just a labour of love, to be honest. It's not going to be worth... Well, it's going to be worth it to us, but obviously, you know, the, yeah, the, the price of the car is not going to be... Again, but that's why we're modding it. Yeah, again... I am too... I'm way too stubborn to give up on that project. Yeah, again, people say to us, why, why do we do these projects that outweigh the value of the car? Now, it's not all about money. It's not all about money. Um, money's a nice thing, but just like the disaster, we've got that car... We want to play with it, we want to do things different, we want to make a chassis for the back of it. It doesn't matter, it's our own spare time. So that's yeah. kind of how we, look, we do things. Yeah. Now, the, um, the YouTubers cars, things like the Colin Furs E30, how can you put a price tag on that? It's dear to him, it's special, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. We just do the work, we get it back on the road, and he can enjoy the car again. So quick five questions then. Do I have five any more questions? questions? Yep. What car would you like to work on? What car would I like to work on? An R34 GTR. Good choice, good choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've R32 stolen my choice. Um, R32 is not bad either. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think probably, um, well, for one, we've, we've got my dream cars in here anyway. There's, there's, what, there's two over there uh, and the Mazda Cosmo because I am a, I am a rotary nut. Um, but... In the future, I'd, uh, there's quite a lot of cars I want to do. I want, I'd, strangely enough, I want to do an E-Type. Uh, I, I mean, they're, they're not kind of my style. They're a beautiful car, but they're not, they're not my, kind of, my kind of thing. I, I kind of like smaller cars. Quick question, quick fire question. I, yeah, I don't Just know. answer the I don't question. Know. No, I don't know. Right, Thanks. Master Cosmo, next question. R34 as well. <laughs> <laughs> What's the initial D car? What's Next. the initial D car? Uh, the AE86. That's A -E the one. I want to do one of them. Yeah. That was the true, true you know, one. Yeah, we do, yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. I mean, we started off as like a Japanese sort of restorer, so the LJ80. We've got a lot of Mazdas, Mazda RX-7 over there, my dad's old one. We've also got another Mazda RX-7 as well. We have, yeah. Um, we've got the Datsun, which is Japanese. We've just got a lot of Japanese, Honda S800, Japanese. LJ80, so, so Suzuki. Yeah, so the Honda S800, LJ80, we've got that. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so all Japanese. And then we've... we've, we've, we've all right, yeah, next, 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 quick, next question. Next question. Next question. Ryan, did you quit your day job? Yes. You did? Yes, I Yay! did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I've been meaning to tell people that I have quit my day job. We, we keep saying, put it in your video, put it in your, and he keeps just forgetting. To be honest, because I've been doing so many hours, doing all-nighters and things, I think my longest shift was 36 hours and I sat down once. Now, because I, I, actually, I was... We, we actually spied him on the cameras because we've got cameras in here. He was under Auto Alex's car and he was just laid there for a little bit <laughs> and he rested his head. We couldn't see him moving for about 10 minutes. He fell asleep. <laughs> yes, I fell asleep under Arthur Alex's car. Yes. Uh, Arthur Alex. Who is the funniest in the family? Hey. No, oh, I know. You know. I think it's 100%. a funny family, tell you the truth. Yeah, we are, yeah. I don't know. I've, I'm more like a Lee Evans, I think. I think, I, I, think, I think on camera. Yeah. No, I'm the funniest, no. obviously. It's definitely not. Yeah. yeah. That's well, you're funniest to look at. Yeah. I'm the best looking. We could have Monkey Boy back there. That's your clown. <laughs> Mon Monkey Boy. He's a clown, yeah. 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 We're, I think we're all the same. We're all kind of the same. Quick question. Quick question. No, I think you're all clowns, to be fair. Yeah, we are, we are clowns, yeah. <laughs> Next question. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look. Why don't you dip your cars in acid? Why don't we dip our cars in acid? Very good one, this, really. this is a question that comes up quite a lot. Now, when you dip your car in acid, it takes everything off. So obviously you've got to fully strip it, but it takes all of your panel bond off. So I set fire to Matt Armstrong's car because I was welding near some panel bonds. 
Now, if we were to dip the car, we, all the, all could, we couldn't. All those joints that are lapped. We yep. couldn't replace that panel bond because so, it dissolves everything that's in your lapped panels. Anything yep. that's joined together, it takes it out. No matter how much you prime, even when you dip, the viscosity is too thick to actually seep into those panels. We've seen it time and time again. Yep. So that's just our preference. There are other preferences and different ways of doing panel uh, doing dipping, but we don't acid dip because we don't. We think that panel bond, like Ryan said needs to stay yeah. in there. The panel bond's there for a reason. Sometimes you get structural panel bond, and sometimes you just get panel bond to stop any water seepage, to stop rusting. If it's inside something, you can't replace it. So that's the reason why we don't dip cars. Yeah, you, you imagine uh, a pan, two panels that are joined together and they're just spot welded. Inside there is a little gap. That acid gets in there. There's no way you can get it out. And there's no way you can replace what's in there with any kind of primer, because that gap is too thick and the viscosity of the primer is too thick to get in that. Next question. Next question. How are your knees holding up? Knees. Yes. Um, knees. Well, I've I've been I've been doing this now. I've been doing a restoration company now. It's 27 years I've been going. Uh, so I've been doing this 27 years, and I can run across this concrete floor on my knees with no padding. I've got big calluses on my knees, so it's good. Yeah. yeah. I think I think your body gets used to it. I do. Uh, knees. Yeah. I should be wearing my knee pads. Should, um, I am wearing three three layers, to be honest, today, so that kind of, you know, helps it. Next question. So. Uh, I think this one is relating to the disaster Datsun. Are you actually going to wide body it, or was that just a merry jest? Yes, if you come with me, you will see that we are actually wide bodying the disaster Datsun. Now, these wide body panels are not actually for the Datsun. They're for a completely different car, um, but we are wide bodying it. Um, so these lovely arches that I've lovingly welded on oh, yeah. are going to be cut off. Gladly. That's, uh, it's going to be funny to watch his face, actually. <laughs> so, um, so this I, don't, was... I don't know whether you watched the video, but when he watched the video, the, there was me cutting the, the arches off. And that's because, basically, he got the grinder, he got it near it, and it was, you do it. <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't do it. So, so this was my, my first ever butt welded arch on anything. It's all right. And it's, it, I, I, I was really proud of this. I was really proud. It's all right. It's good. And um, I can't bear, I can't bear to cut it off myself because look at it, it's fantastic. Now we are cutting, well, I'm not cutting these off. My dad's cutting these off, but we are wide bodying this. And this wide body is going to come all the way out and obviously it's going to come out here. Next, yeah, yeah, next no question. Gest no jesting, it's going to be big and it's going to be fat. Next question. Uh, do you have a garage cat and if so, what's it called? A ga garage caption? Cat? No, cat. no we, I'm, I'm, all right. I'm not sure it's No, we, we, don't, <laughs> we don't have any pets except for Monkey Boy. Apart from... Oh, yeah, we, yeah. Have, we have Rocco. Yeah. Rocco is our Where mascot. Where did Rocco come from? Rocco came from... Where did you come from, Rocco? We found him in a car. We found him in a car. Mm. Abandoned. Yeah. yeah. So next. we. It's a stray that's been adopted. <laughs> so we, we took him on. Uh, next question. Uh, let's see. Has has anyone else got any questions? Do you want a 1983 Ford Capri to restore? Yeah, I think someone's asking for some extra work. Capri. <laughs> oh no, we we love. They, I don't. Especially us three. This is kind of our era. So, any anything like your Ford Capris, your Escorts, anything like that. The, the Opel Manta. Beautiful cars, 80s, 70s, 80s cars are absolutely fantastic. That's our forte. We, we like the Porsches, we like the high-end cars, the DB6 in the corner there. We love things like that, but our roots uh, are from when we were younger. And I think it's kind of rubbed off on Ryan as well. Yeah, yeah, man. So, so that's a yes, that's a yes. Um, so shall we, shall we just make our way over to the DB6 um, while Adam has a look for another question? This, well, there was a question earlier that I lapped over the top of. Um, but this is becoming relevant is what's the most expensive car you've ever worked on? Well, this, this is kind of in the background. So the most expensive car that we've ever worked on. <laughs> Don't with this. Get rid of the calendar that we were given. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an Aston Martin DB6. Um, this is coming for um, you won't be able to probably see it on camera, but this is blistering on the paintwork. So this needs a full paint job. Um, now, we have started the work on this. And is this going to be on a video? Uh, it will be, yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to pop it on video. Um, we have recorded what we've done up to press, so that's good. So, yeah, um, this, this will come onto the channel. It won't be yet. It won't be soon, because we, obviously we've got a lot of work on. 
Um, we also do, from the same owner as this, we also do have a, uh, is it a DB4, isn't it? Yeah. We have a DB4 coming in as well, so that will probably over to, we'd, we've done cars of this value before, but this has probably maybe tipped the scale a little bit for us. Um, but the owner of this car, um, David, shout out to David, uh, the owner of this car actually has a DB4 as well. So as soon as this is done, the db 4s gone, and that's going to tip the scales. We're going to have done, yeah, yeah. done a, a, a even higher price car. Next question. Um, yeah, so just just to kind of push this on a little bit more because there's a lot of questions. <laughs> in the <laughs> question do you do like minor rust repairs for customers or just the big jobs? Yeah, so we, we do minor rust repairs for customers. That's what these two mainly do. And obviously me and my dad do the... Um, the YouTube, you know, YouTube restorations. restorations. So we do do customers cars, but as you can see, we are very busy. Next question. Next question. Let's have a quick, quick look here. There's too many of them. Which, which, um, which YouTuber was the most honest about the state of the car? Which, which, you, which YouTuber was the state of the car? Um, yeah. I don't... I, actually, I think it was Auto Alex, because he made, it, he made it out worse than it was. Yeah. He said on video that the chassis was falling off. It's not, it's all right. So Good. there's Colin... I don't think Colin, Colin saw underneath his car. No, Colin didn't get underneath it. So, um, Matt Armstrong said it's very rusty, which it was so very, very rusty. Um, and then Auto Alex made it seem worse than so, what it actually was. So that means that the person who was the most honest was actually Matt. Matt Armstrong, so yeah. So Matt's been the most honest of the condition of the car. Um, Auto Alex kind of exaggerated it a little bit. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> Um, and Colin, Colin's never been underneath the car, his car, so he, he, he left yeah, it for it us was to untrue, find out. Yeah. Yeah. Next question. A bit of a controversial one here. Which, e, uh, which BMW is, the, is, is better? Is it the E30, the 325 Vitaurus, oh, is, or is, the 325 Is this I? personal choice? <laughs> is this per <laughs> personal choice for me, uh, I, I like the smaller cars. So, um, yeah, I like the E30 is about the right size for me, I'd, but yeah. I like I like all the BMWs you know, all the way through. The 24s, absolutely quick, quick press, quick yeah, press that's answers. it. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. I would say Collins car. Yes, I I like Collins car. Next question: Can you change the camera orientation to panoramic rather than portrait? Unfortunately, that's what the first 30 seconds of this was. Of <laughs> we don't know of how to. Yeah. Me trying to figure out how to change the orientation, and it's in the settings of YouTube, and I couldn't change it. So I apologise for yeah. that. Yeah. That was a bad start on my yeah. part. Yeah, no planning, no planning. Terrible. We don't do life very often. Next question. Um, Sorry about that. Just, just a few questions regarding other potential customers, really. Would you restart cars like my uh, Mercedes W210? Well, we, I don't do, uh, we do, yes. Yeah, that's what we do. Uh, we take projects like that on in the background again. Uh, it's, it's kind of a combination of me and Ryan uh, but mostly, most of the work is done by these two guys here. So um, we've actually got a, a Mercedes W123 over there, the, which will eventually come onto the channel. We've also got a Mercedes CLK. We've CLK, got, yeah. We've got uh, two, uh, no, three other BMW E24s that we're working on that are not on the channel. So yeah. that's all done by you know these two, these two lads, and when we help them and as well. And we do have two other old Mercedes booked in as well. The the. The, again, there's something like the W123. Next, Next question. question. Just for quick reference, one of uh, your jesters has recently just said that Colin only digs under his house, not under his car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is correct. Colin does not dig under his cars, but his car will be under his driveway soon. Along with his DeLorean, yeah. 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 Have you ever tried to buy a car from a customer after it's been done? We've, we, yeah, well, and not after it's been done. We usually do it before. What, what tends to happen is they come, um, they don't realise how bad it is. We put it on a ramp, we, we show them, and then at that point, it's kind of, un, it's unfinancial for them. Unfinancial, is that a word? Yeah, they can know. It's, it's not financially viable. So at that point, they then sell it. But um, we let them look at the market first, and then when they've got a price, we let them get back to us. Yeah, we do. We do. Next question. So I was asked if they could design a new logo for ICR. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can, if you send it to our socials, Obviously, yeah. we've got this. This was I'd, I hand drawn this in in my survey book. Um, what car is that based off? That car is based off the Mazda RX3. There is a video on the car that this is based off. The car that I actually sold back to Mazda. Yeah, the car that we sold, or my dad sold back to Mazda yeah. Heritage. And that is part of their heritage and fleet now. And it's yeah, part yeah. of their heritage fleet. Yeah, so I cool. I drew this on a piece of paper. I then put it on CAD. I then sent it to the embroiders, and they embroidered this. Um, so we are open to new merchandise ideas, but obviously this is the OG logo. This was, will always stay as the OG logo, but 
more merchandise ideas, get it to our socials, Yorkshire Car Restoration on Facebook, Instagram. I thought this was supposed to be quick. Next question. <laughs> How many hours do you think you put into Matt's car? Matt's car, oh, I have put a lot. in total 42 days worth. So each video is probably a day and a half's worth of work. Um, so I'd say about 42 days. Oh, there's Next probably, question. There's probably a question we get asked quite a lot is what kind of time scale is involved in doing one of our 20 minute videos? Now, for example, uh, one of my videos, I'll get up Monday, we'll be here for eight, I'll probably stay till eight, then I'll go home and I'll edit till about 12 o'clock at night, and then I'll go straight back to work, I'll carry on um, working on the same car uh, all day, uh, and then I'll go home and I'll edit till about 12 o'clock at night again, ready for the next day for a 20 minute video. So it's probably about two days full work from eight o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock at night. But bear in mind, that's not just the work, that's camera, because we film everything ourselves. So every one of Ryan's projects is filmed by him. The lighting's done by him and the work is done by him. And mine are the same. And the editing is all done by him and, and all mine are done by me. So it only takes us that long to do the actual work itself. Because Next we're question. Doing everything in between. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> so it says, do you all have wives? What do they think about <laughs> the long hours? Uh, well, Ryan's got a girlfriend. Yeah, so I obviously have, well, not obviously, I've got a girlfriend, but I was working for Yacht Car Restoration before we got together. Shout out to Jenny, shout out. Um, so yeah, um, wives. I have a dog and a partner that lives in another country, so I can uh, work 24 yes. hours a day. I've got a missus myself, she's in Paris at the minute. Don't yeah, worry, I've, got, uh, I've got a wife, Vietnamese wife, I've got a little five-year-old daughter, uh, two grown-up sons, and a 12-year-old boy called Tom. So, hello to Tom, Ling, and Emmy. Next question. Next question. Let's have a look. Uh, would you outsource your video editing? No. So that, that is a very interesting question, and <laughs> I don't think we would, because the only reason with it being is we enjoy putting our own sort of spin on things yeah, for the editing. our own you twist on it. Control, don't yeah, we? We, get, we get sort of like, I'm really creative, you're really creative, yeah, yeah. and we enjoy doing it. It does take a lot of time, but we do enjoy doing it. it so it's all, it's all, I mean, it's done in his own time anyway, when we're sat having his dinner. But may, maybe when we get to a point where we're stupidly busy, we may outsource some videos. We and are continue. stupidly busy. We are stupidly busy, <laughs> yeah. We may outsource uh, some, but at the moment, no, we, we do it, our it's, own. It's kind of like a personal thing. Next question. Like, yeah. Next question. It's mostly just statements. Bring back the sprout, someone's saying. Yes, yeah, it's, it's over on. there. Is that Paul Lamont that says, bring back the sprout? <laughs> Paul, Paul uh, Lugar. Lugar? Paul Lugger, yeah, sorry, yeah, Paul Lugger. Hi, Paul Lugger. Sorry about that. The sprout is over there. If you, yeah, we, we did we've show just, it. We've just, we've just been on it just now. Yeah, we did show it in the start of this video. That's the one. Uh, so yeah, the, the only reason that is taking a bit of a backseat is because we got um, Matt Armstrong's car in and I obviously was working a full-time job, so I didn't have time to do both. Now, the sprout just needs a lick of paint. We obviously need to um, do the brake and the fuel lines. We need to um, build the engine Rebuild back the up, engine, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and just do a couple of final things. So there's not much left on the car, These but I don't did... want to do anything without filming it. So yeah, yeah, it's still still quite a bit of work on it, and still quite a few episodes, but just at the back of the moment. Any more we'll questions? Come back. We'll come back. Questions. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there was a... questions. The questions. Will Will you be uh, showing your cars being painted? Will we show our cars being painted? Yes. Yeah. yeah we've al We've already showed. I don't know whether you've had anybody's seen, but we've already showed the Opel Manta, which was just there. Uh, you can't spin around and show the other cars, unfortunately. But we will show you it from the front again a little bit later. Um, and Actually, we're we've, we've we've we've. Um, We've finished this car, it was the rear arches, rear quarters and everything. We'll put new rear quarters on it. Uh, we've done the paintwork and we showed you that paintwork as well. And this is a finished, completed car. Um, you will soon, soon see also, uh, not the paint process, because we're gonna do, we're gonna do a paint process car as well, totally separate. So we can show you the, the basic way of you painting a car in your garage. Um, to get a fairly high level of standard. We're going to do that totally separate. But there's going to be a quick overview on the Mini, um, and the Opel Manta is already done. You've already seen that. If you haven't seen it, we'll put a link in the description below. Can we do that? Yeah. We can do that. We can do that, so we're going to do that. Any more questions? Favourite car? Favourite car? 
Favourite car? Favourite car. My favourite car is over there being worked on. It's called a Mazda Cosmo 110S. It's the car I've, can I say lusted? It's the car I've lusted over <laughs> ever since I was a kid. Yeah, my favourite car is... You don't need this pressure on. My favourite car... <laughs> Good question. There's a couple. Mazda RX-3, I do like that. Yep, R34 choice. GTR, I, d I do want one of them. Very yeah. expensive. So if anybody's got an R34 GTR that needs restoring, give us a call. If anyone's, got one for, if anyone's got an R34 for sale, let me know. I will buy it immediately. That, uh, needs, that needs restoring. That, that, that's, you know, that's with, uh, in budget, anyway. like 500 quid. Yeah. <laughs> 400 quid? Any more? 300 quid. Quick. Quick fire car. 350Z, this one. Uh, Ford Cortina Mark III, two litre E. Proper next, old school. Next Proper question. School. Very specific. Um, more of, uh, let's see, how do I get in contact to discuss options on restoration? So uh, the easiest way is actually just to look at one of my videos, and in my videos, twice during the video, I put my email address at the top. I check that email address four or five times a day. What's the email? Um, it's steve at... Yorkshire dash car dash restoration no s on the end dot is it com or dot co dot, code dot code UK. UK yeah next okay. question next question looking at we're going through uh, that's some power plant plans that's some power plant no I am answering this one <laughs> I am answering yeah, wait 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 he's he's got outside somebody wrote is is S four off is Audi S four and we I was on about that I still want to do it. Um, I was on about it the other day, and, and it's still outside. We've got his S4, so basically he parked it up at night. Someone rear-ended it, it came up in the morning, it was gone and smashed up. So he got, he's re-bought it back, and we've got an Audi S4 power plant and gearbox and everything outside. I want to do it, he done. So I'd, I've owned for nearly seven years a 2012 Audi S4, which was my baby. I parked it out front um, overnight. Someone had stolen a car smashed into it, wrote it off, the police had taken it, I reported it as stolen, and now it's out back because I bought it back. My dad wants to basically put that power plant into the Datsun, but yeah. <laughs> and this is a V6 333 brake horsepower. V6 333 brake horsepower super You can, horsepower, tune, you can tune them to about 400 brake horsepower fairly easily. Next question. Uh, what workshop upgrades are in the pipeline? So workshop upgrades, the latest Ooh. one has been the paint booth. With the paint booth, right. So this, is, this has been the, um, the latest addition to our big workshop, which is the paint booth. We still need to do a couple of things on the paint booth. Sprout. We've still got to put extraction in here. But as you can see, as you can see, we have a nice paint booth. Uh, we're just about to install the instruction. Instruction. Extraction. Yeah, you can do that with teeth as well, can't you? Instruction, I don't know. Anyway, we've got to put extraction in here but this is recently built now people do ask us uh do they say we're, we're multi-talented now we are because john and richard actually built this they built it they we don't ship anything out we do everything in-house and another thing that we are going to do is install more lights because it's very dark in the workshop yeah it is um, so that's going to be another upgrade um we are thinking about other things to do um, but at the moment we're just mega busy um, so we do not want to tidy up. We're obviously looking at storage on top of the paint booth as well and obviously lights over here. We need a big clean up because obviously it's a big workshop to keep clean. Um, but yeah, next question. What are we having for dinner today? <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen it. It's supposed to be chip butties from Friday. Oh, chip butties. No, we're supposed to have chip butties today yeah. with gravy and peas. Yeah. Yeah. Ch right. Fish and chips maybe. Mm, so, oh well. Next question. What's your daily? What's my, right, so my daily is, it used to be an Audi S4, but someone wrote it off for me. So, and I'm really sad about that. So now I'm driving a 1.6 litre Ford Fiesta. How much did that cost you, Ryan? That cost me 600 pounds to buy. Uh, Volkswagen Transporter, it's a van, it's a people carrier, everything. Uh, two litre Volkswagen Golf GTS. Uh, Mark one Ford Cougar, two litre turbo diesel. Oh yes. Nothing fancy. Next question. How cold is it? It's snowing outside. We're, this is our car. <laughs> Come here. Come here. This is how cold it is. It's cold. Um, this is also going to grace the channel soon. 
Are you our quattro? <laughs> and uh, we've obviously there's one of uh, another one of the E24s that we're working on. Um, as you can MX see, that little redden in the corner. That's the dead MX5. Yeah, the, there's the dead MX5 in the corner that we said we can't do. Look, I'm there, that cars. Golf. <laughs> right. So for those, for those people who are the OGs. It was snowing on our first video. The yeah. day of our first video, it was snowing. And today, on 100,000 subscribers... It's snowing it's, again. It was snowing again. Is that a good omen? That's, that's crazy, honestly. Should we, should we have a walk around our tool section where we, we actually make yeah. the panels? Do you have any more questions? Uh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Ah, I'll tell you what, right? Colin Fraser is currently watching the live stream as well. <laughs> oh. uh, big shout out to Colin. Big Colin. Colin. Yeah, big shout out to Colin. Yeah. Colin, this is... One this, of the most genuine guys I've ever met. This is your car, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do that. I can't even do it. So we've got it on a rotisserie, Colin. Um, this is the, this, this is the, what did you say, the roast chicken. The roast chicken, no, it's, yeah, it's roast chicken rotisserie. Roast chicken rotisserie. Yeah, I think it must be constantly uh, hungry, man. It's still on ramp. Oh, it's still on ramp. <laughs> Quick, let no, that it's ramp all right. No, it's all right. Yeah. That'll take you. It'll take, to take you forever, Ian. Take That's you forever. Slow. Fair enough. Um, Sorry, we can't hold it over because it's going to take forever because this is the slowest ramp on the planet. And when it's cold, all that juice in there, don't know what you call it, all that hydraulic fluid or something, the juice, it gets a little bit thicker and the ramp goes even slower. So this takes about a week for this ramp to go on the floor. Apparently, you can't call it a car. There's nothing left. Yeah, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. Yeah, it's no. car -ish. it's car shaped. Colin, a big shout out to you. Obviously, 100,000 subscribers is absolutely bonkers to us. We, st we first started out as a little idea in a tiny workshop and obviously getting people on board and obviously working silly hours and things like that. And we're just very thankful um, that we're obviously able to go down to yours, to go into your shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and obviously, you know, get your E20, get your E30 um, restored. So there's there's an awful lot of work, but yeah. Bear in mind, three years ago, uh, we was in a little 2,000 square feet shop with just me working. Mm. And yeah, yeah, no, probably about twice the size of that paint shop there. And that was only three years ago. And with the help of YouTube creators and all you subscribers. We've now got something that's epic. Yeah. So let's have yeah. a good look. Go have a look at fabrication. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've got my best clothes on for you today, Colin. I knew you were going to be watching. Got my best suit and tie on. So currently we are on 100,715 subscribers. So a big shout out to watching. Um, this is this is our very this was our very professional <laughs> silver play button. It was. Was. Okay, just met as well. Yeah. You even sprayed your thumb. I've sprayed my thumb. I've got like I've got like a lovely silver nail varnish on. Right. So um, people have asked us if we the the Artec welders as well. People have asked us if we actually use the welders and things like that. Now, the Artec welder that we've just got is my go-to well it's what I use all the time that's it is that what you're saying that's all i'm saying oh yeah. fantastic yeah thank you artec <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> right so the, fabric <laughs> <laughs> so the fabricating area um as you know we've had these little shrinker stretchers uh well these are three years now so we've had no we haven't we've had them two and a half years haven't we We've had these little shrinker stretchers, two and a half years, and I think they cost me, for the pair, about 250 quid off eBay. Um, this, oh, how much was it? 80 quid, weren't it? 80 quid, this cutty thing, straight line cutty thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, this were, this were 80 quid. Um, as bender, as original bender, metal, uh, sheet metal bender, brake, as people like to call it. Um, well, we used to use one in a vice, actually, which were, what were it, about 30 quid, weren't it? And you, we just clamped it in the vice and, and bent it up and that way. We then bought one of these. I think this were about 300 quid. Um, a lot of people do ask us 
why we don't well, bolt this down. Now there is a there is a reason because we clamp metal in there and then we put it to the other side. So we just spin it around and it's really, really heavy, so it kind of stays where we want it to. So uh, we we actually don't want to we're not we're not bolting this one down at all. We don't want to bolt it down. Um, it, Ryan's doing some pole vaulting. This, as you know, uh, we just made this out of some tubing, and it is, we, we use this a lot, we do, and all it is, is some tubing just welded on some dang line. Absolutely brilliant. So, shall we wrap it up there? Yep, yep. Um, so, any more questions? Uh, there is one here, very important question. Um, can we get some videos of you editing your videos? <laughs> <laughs> we, we could also get some here. we could also get some videos of you video in us editing <laughs> and then we could get some videos of the video that's editing the video editing the video watching you to be editing videos i think to, people fall asleep after a while you can yeah. you can probably screen you can screen record editing a video and put it, it is, into a video it is really really time consuming it is very time like with, with a normal video, you've probably got like 10 to 12 hours worth of raw footage. And then you can't watch all that because you'd be there forever. So you kind of skip little bits and try and, you know, get the main bits. Um, so editing does take a long time. We, we could do a screen grab of, you know, editing and then like me on the keyboard. It's not terribly exciting though. No, it's no, not, it's not no, too exciting, it's, but it's, yeah. It's next rubbish. next it's, question. It's about as exciting as watching paint dry, I think. Ah, yeah. people have watched paint dry when we do paint the floor. Yeah, <laughs> that was a common one. Eh? Next question. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, someone says, "Go home. It's Sunday." Uh, well, actually, we can't. We're here for a very special reason. Special reason. We're here for a we're here for a Top different people. reason that we, we do have to, w which we're doing, and you'll know about in the future. You yeah. Doing some other work. Yeah. So. Yeah. There, there is there, there is something big lined up in the in future, the which which we can't tell anyone. <laughs> it's but secret. To be honest, I work every Sunday anyway, um, and yes. these lads work the weekend, so. We we just yeah again probably the hours that we put in people ask us what hours we do we do we do from about eight in the morning till about eight at night um, uh, we I do that and these lads do it uh, six days a week Ryan nearly always does a Sunday as well so I do thirty six hours in one one go and fall asleep under Otto Alex's car next question I think some people are looking for some blooper videos as well. Uh, blooper videos, we used to do them at the end of the videos. We did, didn't we? yeah, yeah, we started putting them in. That's when kind of we ate as thumbs and, and I think I put some on the beginning of a video where I bashed my head about six times in a row. Yeah, we... I couldn't help laughing. <laughs> to, to be honest... I think you get demonetized for the F and the To be honest, I tend to, to add the bloopers into mine as well, you know, like when I'm talking and stuff like that, but it's when we're sort of like working together that we get more bloopers because we end up laughing e at each other and stuff like that, so... We do have uh, bloopers, which are in the pipeline. But you're right, yeah, yeah. Blo Next a question. Blooper video would be good. It would be, yeah. Next question. Nicknames. Nicknames, Ribo. Uh, I, I forgot a nickname. Frodo. 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 Fro <laughs> Ricardo. Ricardo. Monkey Boy. Monkey Boyo. Mm -hmm. And. Cameraman. Cameramano. <laughs> Frodo. <laughs> Frodo. That's because Frodo. you're short. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not short. Next question. Next question. <laughs> um, Rocco, emotional support animal? Rocco is my emotional support, and yes. And occasionally a pillow. Rocco, Rocco doubles back as a pillow and emotional support. And, me and, when, me and Ryan's not, and when Ryan's not looking, a windscreen duster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rocco is emotional support, yes. Next question. Uh, let's see. What's the status of the Datsun 280ZX? So the 280ZX, we... Good, good question, we because put, we've been asked this about us cars we've shown before as well so you just washed it didn't you yeah. so we, we we went to see it we obviously bought it um we washed it and that's all we did I, next no, question no, no we never <laughs> we, we we put a cover on it and then we took cover back off again yeah, yeah. um the two, 280 zx was uh, that's the red car for people that don't know which one that one is um, that's in the playlist as well if you if you search we, for that yeah we we do actually have we have a big yard out back and we have about 25 cars in it um and they're it, the, the the for future youtube but we have we we have to put them in whenever we can we can't work on everything so it sometimes shows something we have to pipeline something so that goes in the background and then we crack on with the more important what you want to watch kind of stuff quick five question what do you want santa to bring you for christmas um i would like um, more hours in the day 
Uh, I would like more days in the week. Nissan 350Z. A Cortina Mark III, two litre E. You can see what the power is. Next question. Uh, apparently, they want to see the cameraman as well. The cameraman? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I think they did ask that question earlier. They said they want to see you, you, and me. So yeah. You can see the resemblance. So okay. Should we do it by height order as well? <laughs> I'm allowed to smoke this thing. No, no. Let me pinch that. Right, you're just going to hand the. Uh, How's it looking now? Over, uh, over to me. Monkey boy. Monkey boy. Right. right. You, two, you two bend your legs. Okay, yep. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's bend our legs. Yeah, yeah. right. Now you stand. <laughs> on, off to the side, there we go. Well, that's right, right. Yeah. ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dad, older brother, Younger brother, or better looking, good looking, Frodo. Or, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> or dad, postman, milkman's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, so this is this is my old brother. He is the um, dance coordinator. You will often see him in the earlier videos, tap dancing. Tap dancing. Oh, I can't do it on the spot. <laughs> I can. I can still do my tap dancing. Can you? Yep. There we go. Just so, a bit of encouragement. So Adam has recently given birth himself. I, I have, well, yeah, uh, it's, it's winter really. So, um, so the backstory is Adam, we brought Adam in, you know, in the first couple of videos. He was in the intro to a lot of the videos as well. It was the intention to get him on board as well. Well, but he got he, a bit busy with life and everything. But he got yeah. busy with life, <laughs> babies, houses, houses um, work. Yeah, stuff just like big, that. big life things really. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Ad, I do kind of support the channel, uh, support these guys as well for the need big things yeah, happening. Yeah, give us on. a cheer every now yeah, and then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I give them a thumbs up and say, good job, fantastic, <laughs> well done. Right, can't wait for the next video. Right, Put my feet up, so carry on. Let's give this back to Adam. So if we give this back to the cameraman. Yeah. Right, any more, any more questions? What do we film on? We get asked quite a lot what we film on. Now, what we film on is his phones in his pockets. We've got uh, a road mic, that's about it. And we use, for all his footage, uh, just a tripod, that's it. Ryan has a tripod, I have a tripod. We have a phone each that we film on. It's as simple as that. Next question. Outside of work, downtime, hobbies. Outside of work is non-existent for me. <laughs> YCR. <laughs> YCR. <laughs> YCR. Uh, yeah, YCR. YCR. We, we are completely and totally petrol heads. Yeah, we, we just think, eat, dream, live, sleep cars. Um, so, Nürburgring. Oh, and I, I play the guitar. Nürburgring, I've been to the Nürburgring before in my uh, Mazda 3 MPS race car. I've been to Vietnam, but it was my only holiday when I was 50. Um, you went to Skegness. So a lot, a lot of our time is basically just Yorkshire cars. car restoration. When we're not here, we're at home editing or sleeping. And or researching, thinking about what we can do next. I love the pose. Oh, yes. I love the pose. Oh, yes. She Colin will like this one. <laughs> question. Someone's asked this a couple of times. Where but are the Italian cars? Where are the Italian we, cars? Bring us the Italian cars. This is what we want. Italian cars, bring them. Have you got one? We, there's, bring there's, it. there's not many that people want to restore, tell you the truth. Oh, uh, what's Renault? That's French, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. Alfa Romeo? I think, I think that... Alfa? Uh, Alfa Romeo, I don't know. The, there is an Alfa Romeo... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Next Alfa question. Integrale uh, over there, ready to be restored. And a, and a, uh, a Fiat 131... One, 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 is it a 131? Uh, yeah, that's it. Racing 131. Uh, yeah, it's a Racing 131 over there, ready to be restored as well. It's very poor. Next question. Good question. We were talking about this yesterday. Did you learn to weld yourself? Um, yeah. I, Everything we do, we've not, none of us have been to any kind of colleges or anything like that. Um, the, 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 I kind of started at a garage as a mechanic for about six months. And from there, um, I, I bought a car myself, a little MX-5, and it started rotting, so I started restoring it myself. And that's what I've done for the last... 27 to 30 years, somewhere around there. And that's how I taught myself. And I've taught myself and then handed it on to yeah. Ryan. I've been doing this for two years and I'm the top fabricator in 
Yosh Karas Ration. Next question. You're asking about welding. Next question. <laughs> well, someone said that they've got a, a Fiat Strada, a bath that needs a lot of work. A Fiat Strada, done, a bath? Yeah, we've done one of them before, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've done one of them before, yes. Next question. Oh, good. Yeah, so, um, we are getting towards 58 minutes now. Oh, 58 <laughs> minutes. We'll have to wrap it up real quick. <laughs> Get back to work. Get back to work, is that yeah. the question? No, 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 that's just the time. So I think a couple of people have said, right, you guys are on half an hour, you need to get back to work. Yeah, we do, you're right. <laughs> yeah, we've got things to do, we've got things to do. Let's have a see. If... Yeah. Uh, another, two, three more quick fire questions. How three many, quick how many questions. miles of welding wire? Quickly. How many Datsun? miles of welding wire is in the Datsun? Uh, well, I can remember buying, I don't know how long the rolls are, but they are the very big rolls, the 50 kilogram rolls, I think. 25, yeah, 25 kilogram rolls, and I think we'll probably put about, I don't know, four in it. Next question. Next question. Um, have you guys met Jeremy Clarkson? Have we met Jeremy Clarkson? No. No, we haven't. But we will. We may do very soon, hopefully. Jeremy Clarkson, if you're watching this. Get you sent down. Get you sent, yeah. Next question. As soon as he's finished filming from Amazon. Yeah, film, filming his farm. Yeah, next yeah. question. Oh yeah, then there's his farm as well. Um, are you guys attending to um, planning to attend any shows? We like, we are, to yeah. NEC yeah. Yet, well, we have just been to NEC. We we kind of snuck in there and and kind of like kept kept it really low key. But we are planning on uh, maybe next year starting to um, reach out to some of the shows, see if we can get ourselves down there. Maybe get a stand or something. I don't know. We haven't made our mind up. We might just turn up. But if we do, we'll pop it on our community channel and let you guys know. So if you want to pop down. Mate, as you can. No worries. One more last question. Last uh, question. Is, is Make it a good one. <laughs> is fabricating your favourite mechanic work? Uh, me, I absolutely adore. Honestly, I, you, you won't believe how much satisfaction there is in fabricating a panel. I absolutely love fabricating and welding panels in. We do enjoy, really enjoy what we do, hence why we, we put so much time into it, so much effort into it, and we've built a YouTube channel on it. So I think we're going to wrap it up there. Yeah, wrap it up. So we do want to thank everyone that's watching. 300,000. You've, you've taken. you guys. Yeah, 100,000 subscribers. We do want to thank you for taking your time to watch this video. It wasn't the best when it started because I didn't know how to rotate the camera and the sound was all on the blink, so we couldn't do that, but... Yeah. And I, uh, also, subscribers, we do, we do read every single comment, as I said before. But also, uh, not only a big thank to you guys, but thanks to the, all the creators. Um, they've, they've helped us along the way as well. So thank you, guys. We do appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Um, any more? Anything, anything anybody like to add? Apart Merry from Christmas. chip shops closed. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not even there yet. It is yeah, getting. There'll, there'll be some more videos before that. Yeah, we'll have more videos. Uh, yeah. 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 So, um, hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Hope it's ha answered a few questions. Um, we will be having another one of these, hopefully, in about two weeks when we get to a million. What do you reckon? Two weeks? Met yeah. a month? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember so, as well, you guys, if you want to support this channel. Oh, make sure. Well, these. Make sure that you get yourself a Yorkshire car restoration uh, hoodie, awesome. or beanie, or anything like that. Yes. I'll give them a super like. We do. We do have um, ycr.uk.com, which yeah. this merchandise is on there. So feel free to go we're on there. We're also, yeah, yeah. We're also going to be in the future bringing in a member section. Um, not quite yet. We're not quite ready there yet. But it, that'll, that'll show you how to do some smaller, intricate jobs. Bending radiuses, shrinking things that you can't shrink. Uh, make you, uh, just a little bit more detail into doing individual panels. A bit more tuition. That we so can't to, put in the video. So to wrap this video up, ycr.uk.com. Do get your merchandise if you do want some. We've got this colour, we've got black, we've got grey, we've got beanies, we've got caps, we've got t-shirts, we've got oh. hoodies, we've got everything. And let's end it with a pose. So, and let's, yeah... <laughs> Is that Larry Grayson used to do that? Is that your best one? I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Your knees creaking. <laughs> so, yes. thank you guys, and catch you in the next video. He don't know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know what to do either. Is it the yeah. X? I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> <laughs>